Hey there everyone, no the double boy here coming at you with my uh, regionals uh, yellow rapid mon deck. So uh, I ended up going to Ohio regionals for the first time on Thursday and Saturday. Took a uh, yellow rapid mon with me because I hate bunnies and I want to win stuff. And this deck ended up getting 18th place out of 122 players on Thursday. And then it got 34th place on Saturday out of 200 plus players. So yellow rapid mon is very good. I did little to no playtesting before I brought it to regionals, got 18th on the first day, very close to the invite, and then second day I end up um, getting 34th. It's a pretty good deck, it's very busted, that's why I took it to regionals. I was like, I didn't playtest at all, but I played against um, M. Fargalarga like for 8 days straight, playing Imperial Tremont trying to beat this deck. I didn't win a single time, I didn't win once. And that made me realize that this deck is incredibly busted. This deck is the is like probably the best deck in the format. Not gonna lie, like like probably number one. Like, and on Saturday Mario ended up uh, topping with Yellow Raptor on his version. It was just like Yellow Hybrids is very busted. Like we need to nerf this deck and stuff like that. Before we get to that part though, let's um talk about what I got. So for participating in the regionals, you get an event pack. Oh, I got a Luffy pin. I left it there. Yeah, it's so cute. But anyways. You get uh you get one event pack. Uh, not, well this ain't the event pack. This is you get a participation pack, you get a pair of sleeves, and you get a memory counter and an event pack. Um I already opened my event packs. I end up just getting a bunch of green, a bushy agumon, etc. But you get one event pack too. Then you get more as you keep winning. So I got two of each because I went to both days, so that's why I have like two of these. And then uh for top thirty two you end up getting more event packs. A deck case and a fine uh, it's the same pack as this except this one says a uh, finalist because I was in the top 32 so I ended up getting top 32 and getting a finalist pack too I couldn't get it for the second day but I got it for the first day and that was that was pretty cool um, but yeah I ended up having a really good time playing the regionals I had really strong opponents I had fought a lot of mirrors and Mastimon it was great it was awesome um, let me see here. Let me pull up the list here so y'all know what I played against here. I'll have a pick of it in the at the end of the video slash I'll probably put in the comments too. So I ended up um, playing um, day one. I ended up playing um, Mastimon round one. I went 2-0. Round two, I played Mastimon again 2-1. I lost in the yellow hybrid mirror against one of the strongest players I've ever faced in my life. Like Jesus. This dude. I fought him again too. And day two, but we'll get to that in a sec. Then I fought in Blue Imperial Dramon, um, 1 2 0 because of Empire Galarga taught me how to beat the deck so easily. Armor Rush, I went 2 1. This dude, the Armor Rush deck was dumb. He fire rocketed me four times and he won with that with that move. I couldn't recover fast enough. And then the final round, I sh if I won against the Imperial Dramon, I would have gotten the invite to Nationals. But for some reason, I bricked and lost when it mattered. It was terrible. I bricked the last round. I was like, why? And then Imperial Drummond rushed me to death. And then I lost the invite. I was so upset. But at the same time, it was so fun. Like, Imperial Drummond can win. I just have to brick. <laughs> but day two, I fought against two X antibodies. I knew what to do. They were breath of the gods, me. But then I ended up just Susan them. And then just uh, won there. And then Mastimon, I won. Um, and then I fought the guy again, Yellow Hybrids. The, the games were crazier. He won, we went overtime, like I went overtime for all the rounds afterwards because I fought Mastimon three times in a row after that. It was nuts. And then all, and then I won, the Mastimon matchup is crazy. Like I very underestimated that deck, so I'll probably build it and let you know my final thoughts on that. Because I didn't plan on really playing it, but now since I've basically become a yellow player, lol. <laughs> I'll probably build it, so. But yeah, the matchups are really good. Um, hitting overtime is very annoying. That was like the one thing I didn't like about playing the deck. But that's just the nature of the matchups and the time limit and all that. I can't control that, so it's whatever. Alright, let's actually talk about the deck. Um, so, I know people run the Cupimon. I just like the straight up four babies. Upamon, it's more of a personal preference. You can get with the Cupimon if you have it. I'd run the Cupimon too. Like, it wouldn't be a bad thing. But I run uh, four babies, Upamon, just uh, when attacking. If you have three less security, draw a card. The Cupimon lets you... Uh, if you have five more security, draw a card, which is way more realistic. But oh, there's. I also use this mat for uh, Origin Regionals. It's my little brother's little green. So thank you for letting me borrow it. 
I run the MVP of the deck for the Patamon. It's a very good card for Rapidmon. So uh, once per turn, when an opponent's Digimon is deleted by dropping a D by dropping to zero DP, gain one memory. It's really good to keep it your turn. That's the whole purpose of Patamon. Two Salamon. So uh, Salamon is uh, on the leash of your three or less security trigger tr recover one. Um, that's good, just to net some memory back. Um, those are the only rookies you run, just the four Patamon, just two uh, Salamon because of the hybrid. But speaking of the hybrid. Once we get to the hybrids aspect, I'll talk more about how busted that whole mechanic is and why we should like really need to do deal with it. Like Bandai really needs to do something about yellow hybrids. Uh, they are still going strong in BT10 and JP for Japan, so they really need to do something. This card is busted. I think it's just the synergy with hybrids is really good with yellow Rapidmon. So uh, it can digivolve three for three costs from Terriermon. That doesn't matter in this build, but and the Armor Purge is a it's a new mechanic. It's a uh, when this Digimon would be deleted, you may trash the top card of this Digimon to prevent that deletion. So it's a you may effect. You actually don't have to use Armor Purge. I can't think of a situation where you would wouldn't want to. I mean, there, there could, but like, anyways. Um, and then when Digivolving, suspend one of your opponent's Digimon for each Tamer you have in play. And then after that, up to three of your opponent's Digimon get minus 5k. Which is really, really strong. Like, I was doing dumb combos with Rapidmon. Rapidmon is the strongest card, one of the strongest cards in this deck. It's really busted. Like, it's so free. It's really nuts how often that goes off. Like, Vmon, Vmon gets crapped on because of Rapidmon. Now let's talk about the hybrids because Rapidmon just blows up stuff and suspends it and then even if you don't kill it, you can DP enough just to swing over it and kill it. Like there's so many answers, it's ridiculous. So the hybrids need, something needs to happen to these. Zephyrmon, um, can Digivolve for a cost of two on top of a yellow tamer. And then uh, if, a di if a card with hybrid or an, is in straights or Zoe, if a card with hybrid and its traits or Zoe is in this Digimon's sources, all your security Digimon get plus 3,000 power. That does come up. It rarely comes up because of the Vmon matchup. Like, jamming is just like, oh, well, doesn't matter. It rarely comes up. Then for Kazimon, just to keep the hybrid aspect going, like, it's so free. Like, having all those tamers out is just, like, free net. It's such free value because there's really no interaction with getting rid of tamers except with like blackboard raymon or Zord defeat like those are the only cards that can like stop them so that's the champion lineup there's 12 champions 12 level fours and then the card that really needs to get hit is right here jet selfie jet selfie mon is really good like of course you run four of that like i'm pretty sure this card's gonna get hit at some point i'm pretty sure when we are digimon tamer and digivolution so when we are when one of your Digimon with a Tamer in its source is Digivolved into this tan, into this card from your hand, reduce the memory cost of Digivolution by two. So if there's like Zoe or Cody underneath the Kazumon, you can Digivolve for one. It's really, really good. And then you don't even need to do the reduced cost as long as the hybrid's underneath. So if you do uh So if you do Rapidmon and then Zephyrmon for one because it's a level four. You still pay the three cost here, but you can re you can still recover one because Zephyrmon's right there. So it's really really stupid. Like there's so many ways to just get value off the Jet Sylphimon. Like who cares about to pay three? I'm gonna go to three anyway. I'll do I'll pay the three. I'll probably go to more memory because of Cody's out. So I can afford to do moves like that. It's like it's it's crazy. And so that's the only level five we run it, and I didn't see an issue at all. Uh, three fall down mode. Uh, Digivolve 2 from Ophanimon, that doesn't matter. Um, when Digivolving, if the Digimon has a purple card in its trait and, and its sources, delete when your opponent's level 4 or lower Digimon. That effect will never come up in this build because there's no purple level 5s. And then, this is the part that matters. If this Digimon has a yellow card in its sources, recover plus 1. So that's the why we run this. It gets to rec recover plus 1. And then on deletion, you may play 1 purple or yellow level 4 lower from your trash while paying the memory cost. So I usually get Patamon or Salamon out, sometimes a hybrid or Rapidmon, like it, there's so many targets. I mean, Mastimon could just blow it up right when I do it, when it, right when I bring something out, but it's, it's whatever. But yeah, this deck is really, really good. Like, I, I'm enjoying the build. Now this is where the spice is. I run three Susans. I run three Susanomons. I run three of them. So, 
I didn't have four Eden's Javelin for some reason. So I was just like, all right, I guess I will uh, just run three Susans. And this actually came up. I threw a lot of po my opponents off by running a third Susan. So Susanamon, um, you may Digivolve this card from your hand onto one of your Tamers as if the Tamers are level 6 Digimon by placing 10 Tamers and or cards will hybrid in straight from your hand and, and, and or trash at the bottom of your deck in any order. So that's a way to like recharge your deck and to uh, get them out faster without losing a Mon or getting an extra Mon out because you're using a Tamer to get them out. Um, it gets security plus 2, so it could check for 3 cards total. And then uh, when Digivolving, delete when your opponent's Digimon. This card can... This card is really good in yellow hybrids. It's insane. Like the third Susan was actually saving my ass like all weekend. Like this card, I was throwing all my opponents off by running three. They were not ready. They were like two and then three. They were like, what? I was like, yeah. This card saved me from the creepy mon tech and, and nasty mon. Like the creepy mon tech is really, really good. Like Jesus. But yeah, this deck is very, the synergy is very good. You can even straight up just do this. I've done this just to get the plus to security so I can just OTK them faster and now tamers I run for Zoe Zoe's very good um, on play you can um, search your deck for one card with hybrid or ten warriors reveal and add it to your hand if you add a card re recover one so she's good for grabbing hybrids and then she has a good security effect opponents turn all your security did you want to get plus 3000 power so that does come up like even, most of the time it doesn't just because jamming is a thing but it's come up x antibodies come up i made a <laughs> i hit this like a x antibody with 17k or something they hit this in security and i was like zoe power up and they turned 18 and blew up their oriumon <laughs> i was like sorry bro poor cody because cody's good cody's from the new set so uh cody he allowed let's start a main phase if you have a yellow digimon play game on memory so that start a main phase is actually really important so like before you gain that memory, you have to decide whether or not to bring out your uh, um, your Digimon from the breeding area because that's breeding areas first. So if you decide not to bring it out and you gain that memory, you choose not to raise, like promote your baby out. So that timing is all that important. That timing is important. So Cody and Davis and Ken are the ones that really like care about that. Sorry, main face. And then uh, what's the next effect? When one of your Digimon two or more colors attacks, you may suspend this Tamer to give one of your opponent's Digimon minus two thousand. So that's really good. So you swing in this build either Rapid Mon or Fall Down mode. You can tap the Cody and blow up a Vmon or love 2k or less. Or just help you swing over stuff. Cody is very strong. It's ridiculous. I think the last Tamer is 4TK. Yeah, I run 4TK. Some people run TK and Kari. I don't. I don't think it's... I mean, they're good too. Like the build, There's so many ways you can build this deck. So it's not like my way is the right way especially since i only got 18th you know I, I didn't win like mario did first place you know so don't mind me <laughs> tk four of um start of your turn if you have two or less memory so he's a memory setter set it to three uh on play look at your security stack and reveal one card in it and to your hand if the card is yellow recover one sometimes it's nice just to grab a susan because i'd be like i have nine security okay i'll just have eight and grab this and not recover and i'll be like yeah it's, it's worth so it's okay like that's the only non yellow in the whole deck is susan oman so it's like if i grab him sometimes i grab him i'm like oh, i'm just gonna grab susan susan so that's a good way to do it like you don't actually have to recover all the time just grab uh susan oman and try to win then for the removal eden's javelin is so good i run three eden's javelin from 1.5 um Six costs, uh, trigger draw one, then one of your opponent's Digimon gets minus 1k for each card in your hand for turn. Really good, because you'll have a lot of cards in your hand. Three Wyvern's Breath. Um, one of your opponent's Digimon gets minus 15k. It's really strong. Same thing with the security effect. Oh yeah, the security effect, same thing too. Like, you just activate it. So those are my six removals. I wanted to run a fourth Javelin, but I didn't have a fourth Javelin. And I was like, okay, I'll just run an extra Susan. And that's where the origin of three Susanomons came from. So I like three uh, Susanomons in the build right now. I don't know if I'll change it moving on. I don't even know if I'll touch the deck. Because if EX2 comes out the way it's supposed to, I probably won't run much. I doubt it. I, I'm pretty sure we're going to get a delay. But anyway, moving on. Um, Three yellow memory boost and one reinforce. 
So boosters, uh, on play, look at top four, add a yellow Digimon, this counts as a yellow Digimon because it has both colors, so you can grab that too. Um, I whiffed a lot, I have no idea why I got kicked out of the game during the tournament. Well, at least the, the last round, with the last two rounds of Masimon, I don't know why, I was whiffing like crazy. Then one reinforce, um, on play, reveal the top two cards of your deck, put one of them in the security, add the other one to your hand. And place in the battle area, delay, like the turn after, you can use it, and then gain three memory. So this is the overall build. It was very, cons it was super consistent. Like this, that, this build of mine is really strong. Like just being able to hybrid up. Sometimes I just be like wind swing, you know. And then uh, Gazimon really f me up and won the games. Like whenever they run Gazimon, I wouldn't be able to use the boosters and just try to win. It's funny. It's very funny. Like this deck can do it. <laughs> but. I had a good time for the for the regionals. It was very fun playing against all the opponents. Um, the yellow mirror guy is actually like the Geobud equivalent to what at his locals because he ended up he ran like that whole his whole locals with a Lilithmon loop blast format or something. He like he just dominated first place all the time just like Geobud at our locals like. It was just really good to fight against him because he acknowledged me and saw me as an equal and we had a good back and forth and stuff like that. So he was probably my toughest opponent both days. And then the Maskimons just gave me a massive headache. Like, they were, they, were, they were all strong, but like the concept of that deck was just like, stop doing stuff. I need to think. And I had to do that three times in a row and I, I had the, like, the biggest headache by the end of it. I was like, I cannot keep fighting Mastimon, stop. And then they at the third match, the third round, I mean, like, the third time in a row, I meant, was like, no, I tied. Like, I ended up just tying two out of three of those. Like, if, I never lost to them, but, I, yeah, I never lost to a Mastimon. I just, the worst, it was a tie. And if it wasn't a tie, I won. But, yeah, this is the build. This is yellow, yellow Rapidmon hybrids. We need to hit Jet Selfie. I, I, I honestly believe it. We need to do something like this. We need to hit this because that rec it's just so dumb. The concept of hybrids is so ridiculous to me. Like if I actually trained with this deck going into the tournament, I probably would have done much better because I was like learning along the way while at the region. I was also learning how the deck was kind of functioning. It didn't take me long. Like, I was growing with each match with each win. So, 18th place, you know, 18th place day one, 34th day two. So, I'm very satisfied with the results. I was really satisfied with all the stuff I got. Swag! I also, like, I also bought a couple random other stuff too. Just like, I bought stickers. Um, I bought the Luffy pin. I bought a couple of My Hero cards. Like, it's just like, overall, regionals was very fun. I also got a booster box I'll open for you guys later on. But I just want to show off the swag a bit. Uh, where I, but yeah, Yellow Hybrids is fun. Ohio was overall fun. My teammates... Die Sauce and Teach the Ayabora also did really good. Like, we had a great time. Like, regionals was really good. I'd love to do it again someday. Probably not this year, anytime soon, but it was a really good experience. I'll definitely want to do it again. Just probably not anytime soon. I got some other card game stuff I have to take care of, like Card Fight Vanguard and My Hero, so. Like, Gen Con, I know is coming up. I probably won't participate in it, so. Yeah. Thanks again, everyone, for supporting me while I was away on the channel and just watching my random videos while I was away. It was, I appreciate it. Like, you guys rock for being so patient. Um, well, thanks again, and I'll see you all next time for the next video.